Welcome to ePathashala. My name is Professor Adi Narayana, former professor and head department of sociology and population studies, Bharatiyar University, Coimbatore. Dear students, in this module, we will discuss and learn about the fundamentals of social research in relation to population studies. The broad topics to be covered are definition, meaning and characteristics of research, definition, meaning and objectives of social research, importance of objectivity and related issues in social research, utility and significance of social research, problems and limitations of social research. First foremost, we will try to learn what is meant by research. In research, the definition says, according to Grinnell, research can be said as a careful, systematic, patient study and investigation in some field of knowledge undertaken to establish facts or principles. Similarly, Walsh and Bussell 1981 defined a research as a systematic, formal, rigorous and precise process employed to gain solutions to problems or to discover and interpret new facts and relationships. Consolidating these definitions, it may be stated that research is an original contribution or addition to the available knowledge on a particular topic which contributes to its further advancement. It is also an attempt to pursue truth through scientific methods of study, observation, comparison and experiment. In sum, research is the, bra is the search for knowledge using objective and systematic methods to answer or find solution to a problem. For before understanding research more, we will also uh, discuss a few words about uh, characteristics of research. First and foremost, research as to the existing knowledge. That means, it is also directed towards the solution of a problem and research lays emphasis on the development of generalizations, principles or theories that will be helpful in predicting future occurrences. Secondly, research is based upon observations, experiences and empirical evidence. For example, knowledge of the field of study is an essential prerequisite for research. Thirdly, research demands accurate observation, experimentation and description of the phenomena of a study. That means, without precision, research can, uh, can uh, has no acceptable basis. Research should be also carried out in an objective manner, that is, it also requires the use of scientific methods and the logical reasoning to probe deeper and deeper and arrives closer to the truth or as near to the reality as possible. Well, research results are obtained either by way of generalizations of the observation or establishing some generally observed phenomena. It may be either based on inductive or deductive logic, which we will explain later. Research findings are systematically recorded and reported without involving value judgment. So, research never solves a problem finally, rather it leads to identification of some aspects of the problem, which may become a topic for further exploratory research. Understanding the characteristics of research, we will try to see what are the essential principles of a good research. Research should be systematic, that is following specific steps of research in a sequence or order. Research also is logical, that is reasonable or valid, etc. It should be empirical, like database or supported. It is also should be replicable, possible for verification and thereby arriving sensible decisions on the theoretical knowledge as well as topic under consideration. Well, so far we have seen research per se in general. Now we are coming to social research. The definition says, according to Young, one of the uh, pioneering research methodologists, social research may be defined as a scientific undertaking which by means of so logical and systematic techniques aim to discover uh, new facts or verifying and test old facts, analysis their sequences, interrelationships and causal explanations which are derived within an appropriate theoretical frame of reference and develop new scientific tools, concepts, theories which would facilitate reliable and valid study of human behavior. 
Well, the meaning wise if you take then social problems and human behavior are the subject of material research. Therefore, a social research like scientific research is based on scientific investigation in the field of social as well as behavioral sciences. The broad objective of social science research is to explore, analyze and conceptualize human behavior of social life in order to extend, correct or verify the knowledge related to these issues in scientific manner. It also seeks to find explanations to unexplained phenomena to clarify the doubtful and correct the misconceived facts of social life. Objectives of social research, which generally the social research has certain objectives, wherein the first and foremost one is objectively studying. In the disciplines of social sciences, the researchers presume that they will be able to study or investigate the social problems in an unbiased manner. Secondly, existence of some social norm or law, it is generally presumed that in any society there is some kind of natural law or norm exists. Therefore, and any social event occurs based on it. Because of this social norm, prediction would be fairly easy in social sciences. The third objective is possible to predict future. The prediction of future social research phenomena and our social event or pattern especially in the short time period is possible. For example, in the population studies, in the field of population, if the population of any country increases with a specific rate, then the population of the country in near future can be predicted given constant conditions and certain assumptions. And for the other objective of uh, social research is existence of cause effect relationship. Here it is presumed that a cause effect relationship exists between social behavior and events and thereby it is possible to find out causes for a particular phenomenon and also the causes from effects. Another uh, objective of social research is representative sample. Social research presumes that there is possibility of selecting a representative sample from the whole population under study. It also assumes that the results of the study from the representative sample would be appropriate to the whole population. Another objective of social research is possibility of detailed study. It is presumed that the social researcher has no preconceptions about the subject matter under study and thereby carries out the research with neutrality and unbiased manner. Experimentation is possible, another objective that is social research in the recent past assumed that application of experimentation is possible like in the case of natural sciences. When, when it comes to social research, the major uh, comment is that the objectivity. So, we will try to highlight some of the issues related to importance of objectivity in social research. One of the major criticisms against the social research is lack of objectivity in pursuing research activities. Scientifically, one should maintain objectivity that is willingness and the ability to examine the data or facts without bias and value judgment. Of course, in, it is very difficult to maintain and achieve objectivity in social science research where human behavior is being studied by human beings that is the researchers. The research works are more often influenced by personal prejudice, likes and dislikes, beliefs, faith and so on. Though subjectivity by itself is not detrimental to research, one should see that it should not enter into the analytical framework of research. Having learned about the importance, now we will see what are the sources and possibilities of bias. Personal bias of the researcher in approaching the problem that is the main one arises. Next one is respondent is likely to be biased in providing information. Thirdly, sampling bias in selecting uh, unrepresentative data. Then bias in preparation and administration of data collection instrument whereas like uh, preparation of questionnaire or interview schedule and bias due to faulty method of data collection and our data itself may be biased. At times faulty analysis and generalizations due to personal bias also likely to occur and uh, the aptitude and the aptitude of the researcher may be biased either against or in favor of a notion or a theory. Then, Having learned about uh, the biases, what are how to achieve objectivity in social research we will discuss here. And first and foremost one is standardization of terms. One should follow standardized terms so as to measure 
social phenomena for comparable purposes and to draw valid generalizations. It is, if standardized terms are used, comparison and uniformity will be difficult, but for example, terms like woman empowerment, poverty, standard of living, occupation, etc., used differently and hence subjectivity gets into introduced. The next uh, procedure is use of questionnaires. Using standardized questionnaires for data collection to some extent would be helpful in maintaining objectivity in social research. Application of random sampling methods in other way of achieving objectivity. The selection of sample is mostly done in by making use of non-random methods through which subjectivity arises. If random sampling techniques are used, the problem of subjectivity due to sample selection can be reduced to a large extent. Another thing is counter checking has to be maintained. In order to avoid the prejudice and bias that is subjectivity of the researcher and our field investigators in collecting data, one can counter check the same by sending some other investigators on the same or similar fields and findings are then compared. And also nowadays extensive use of machines we are making use. If social researchers make use of machines and me mechanical devices during data collection and analysis, the objectivity can be improved to a considerable extent. Uh, coming to the utility of social uh, significance of uh, social research, it has several utility. First and foremost one is social planning. Uh, information is extensively used, useful for the formulation and the implementation of social plans so as to improve the socio-economic conditions of people. Facilitates control over social phenomena. Here social research generates knowledge about the organization and working of the society and its institutions which will be useful for exercising control over social phenomena so as to maintain peace and harmony among the people. Thirdly, a social research is useful in social prediction which is a fund, uh, fundamental one. Social research affords a sound by, uh, basis for predictions in a large scale, a large number of situations. Though social predictions cannot be perfect in all cases due to variety of constraints and assumptions, yet they prove useful in guiding social growth or proper lines and achieving the most of the predetermined goals. And social research creates social understanding also. Uh, for example, social research helps in better understanding of the social problems and social relationships both at national and uh, international level. It provides possible uh, solutions for the same and uh, at times provides uh, solutions to new problems that are likely to arise in the future. Social research also uh, helpful in contributing to human welfare. Social research knowledge related to the magnitude, causes and consequences related to various social evils or social problems ultimately provides a basis for taking up correct measures and reforms leading to social or human welfare. And uh, social research also helpful leads to uh, social growth and progress. For example, social research helps in understanding the social institutions and social values which in turn would be helpful in better social planning and control which may lead to overall social progress. And social research is much helpful in refinement of social science research methodology. For instance, social research method research helps in the refinement of various methods and techniques related to research methodology. These include approaches to research, research designs, sample selection, data collection, instruments and methods, etc. Since the social research provides vast knowledge related to social life and human behavior over time. And uh, social research also helpful for solution to endless social problems. Through social research, it is possible to arrive at an understanding of various types of social problems from current as well as retrospective aspects. This would be helpful in giving solutions to various existing social problems and also to give suggestions to new problems like likely to crop up in the near future. Well, social research is generally we are following in all social sciences. There are certain problems and limitations of uh, social research when we practice. For instance, first one, balancing between theory and application. Generally, the social research should be carried out 
uh, one should main, while carrying out social research one should maintain a balance between theory and application of theories to the research theme or topic studied. Secondly, over emphasis on qualitative and statistical analysis. Well, in the recent past though quantitative measurement and statistical application and treatment is very much essential for reliable and valid results in social science research due weightage has to be given to non quantifiable factors in drawing conclusions. Uh, thirdly, the scientific objectivity uh, problem will arise that is social sciences, social science researchers should minimize the influence of external factors that are likely to affect objectivity. And uh, social science research uh, problems uh, the fourth one is complexity of social data. Most social problems, social events and human behavior are complex to understand and therefore, it is often very difficult to study all the factors that are likely to be relevant to the phenomenon under study. Uh, social, uh, while using uh, social science research, another problem likely to occur, occur is dynamic nature and social phenomena. Generally, we know that human beings as part of society have to undergo changes in their behavior and social life over a period of time. Social researchers task of analyzing the data has become very much complicated and at times the inferences drawn may be misleading. Another uh, problem likely to occur is unpredictability. In social science research though it is difficult to predict exactly as in the nature of uh, natural science research, in the recent past social science researchers are trying to predict certain groups behavior and happenings of social events of course, approximately and sometimes almost nearly to the truth. Another limitation of social science research is interdisciplinary approach. Most social science research is interdisciplinary in nature, but unfortunately many social scientists either lack knowledge about closely related disciplines or lack cooperation and coordination with the researchers of other disciplines. And the other problems related to data collection and interpretation also likely to arise. Lot, lot of difficulties exist in collection of data from human beings who have different temperament and personality. Besides non-cooperation, it has become difficult to collect reliable data. Keeping this in mind, difficulties do exist in to analyze and interpret the data technically since the data may be itself faulty or at times research did not have familiarity about apt techniques and data analysis. Another major problem as far as uh, social science research is concerned funding to carry out research. In most of the less developed countries including India, funding for social research is meager and with little funding with little funding to individual researchers carrying out research studies is not going to be that effective. And uh, at the end I hope we have understood so far, we have discussed so far in this module a detailed discussion about the details of social, uh, social research like meaning and objectives of social research, importance and achieving objectivity in social research, utility and significance of social research, problems and limitations of social research. Hope we have understood nicely about these things and execute in your future uh, research endeavors. Thank you.